Hebe flamboyant gammon is Audrey Hepburn type of a woman. And I would like to remind those who came to my channel searching for information about types according to David Kibbe's theory that my typing is based on the works of David and his book Metamorphosis, but may and will definitely differ from the original interpretation and the very source. This is because I have practiced all the information in my work with my clients, so it is based on my own practical stylistic experience and knowledge as a professional artist, my view and feel of the person, and my perception of external and internal factors such as the entire essence of the personality. I also ask you to include your common senses, both to this and to any other information given to you. So, here I go, I'm going to take Kibis the original 13 types and discuss them as I personally see them. Flamboyant gammon body type is placed in the center on the yin-yin scale with an offset towards yin, the divine male. As with the entire gammon family, the proportions of yin and yin are electrically mixed here, and in the flamboyant gammon they additionally acquire a slight preponderance towards yin. Flamboyant gammon is a type that makes a playful impression. David Kibi called them cheeky chick. The height of the flamboyant gammon is low, quite petite, traditionally up to 168 cm, but there are exceptions, as indeed in all types. Their bone structure is slightly wide and angular, often square shoulders, and the palms and feet appear large for this height, elongated or broad. The nose, cheekbones and chin tend to be wide. But here it is essential to understand that not always everything is put together simultaneously. For example, only the cheekbones are wide, the chin is more compact or vice versa. Remember that gammon is an eclectic type. Often flamboyant gammon types can exhibit such a combination. Large rounded eyes from ying, the divine female, and a pointed nose from ying, the divine male. The body is normally thin. When overweight, it can look a little bit chunky and relatively dense. The chest and hips are relatively flat at an average weight and long legs are not uncommon. The shape of the face is often rounded, but elongated is also a possible variant. The cheekbones are well defined and cheeks are sunken if there is no excess weight. The eyes are usually large and round, medium to full lips, but here too there are exceptions. Wardrobe for flamboyant gammon body type. Like the pure type, Flamboyant gammon combines extreme masculine and feminine traits. At the same time, the influence of androgenic features is more significant. The male element yin clearly shows its presence and is expressed in linear, angular, often broader bone structure, thin soft or muscular fit body structure and specific personality traits as well. Intense yang energy creates the image of a spontaneous woman, full of temperament, endowed with a bright sense of humor. The female element of yin is marked by the presence of a specific youth, short stature, petite height. Often characteristic features of yin are large eyes and medium lips. Flamboyant gammon style is sassy chick. You have to guess that the author referred to extravagance rather than elegance. A thinner and more delicate face for any type is due to two somewhat mysterious but still existing in natural elements. And this is a mysterious sounding ethereal, somewhat angelic and ingenue youthful innocence. Both of these elements can be found in any type. They appear together or separately in different people. They are often combined with the types with a strong masculine yang element. An andro androgenic figure combined with a special girlishness is rather original but still present in nature. Audrey Hepburn finds a combination of masculine and feminine features enriched with an ingenue element, making the image of unusually original beauty. 
the girly, innocent face contrasts with the long and slender androgenic body. Audrey was quite tall, but not too tall. She looked taller than she really was. However, despite this, she fits perfectly into this type. Even the waistline results from a combination of an inverted uh, body shape and an elongated or an elongated rectangle, hips and legs. In the silhouette of Audrey Hepburn, we do not find the soft curvy lines characteristic to fill female silhouette marked with the yin element. Seemingly petite, Audrey had broad, straight arms, long muscular and large slender arms and legs. Audrey's authentic appearance amazed people who previously knew her only from photographs or movies. Audrey Petite, very feminine in the film, unexpectedly turned out to be on a taller side and angular. Another, less typical flamboyant gammon is sweet Vanessa Paradis. The figure's short stature, petite height and androgenic shape makes Vanessa a prominent representative of the gammon type. However, her subtle features do not match the model's image described by David Kibbe. Vanessa's face seems to be taken from a completely different type. It is more like gammon, pure gammon, than the flamboyant gammon. But that's not all. Both ingenue and ethereal influence her sophisticated, attractive beauty. Even if these elements are present in a small percentage, women's beauty can no longer be classified as typical androgenic. As a result, the clothing style should be different, and this is especially true for outerwear and everything around the face area. Flamboyant gammon classic style should be relaxed. You must enter the yin elements and combine them with the yang elements. The overall outline of the figure must stay true to the style. However, the hairstyle and headline should have more delicate and complex lines. Flamboyant gammon body type features. Height from petite, very petite to maximum 170 centimeters. Long vertical lines, bright gammon often appears, flamboyant uh, gammon appears taller than they actually are, body type, cone, rectangle, in case of overweight the silhouette becomes chunky and a little square, shoulders broad and square, arms and legs long in relation to the body, palms and feet large in relation to the height, thin and long or might be broad, bust small or medium depending on the figure waist straight or very slightly curved, hips straight, narrow, boyish, forearms lean, flamboyant gammon face characteristics. The lower part of the face is wider, square, sometimes pointed, tapering towards an often elongated chin, nose medium to large, cheekbones broad can be well defined. Eyes, usually prominent, characteristics of the flamboyant gammon. Lips, slightly full or full, usually medium. Cheeks, thin. Style recommendations for flamboyant gammon body type. Kibi recommends asymmetry and irregular shapes. Short and wide geometry with sharp or soft edges. Broad, slightly coarse forms, sculptural forms. A combination of opposite shapes works great here, adds brightness and energy to the image. Look in the direction of the narrow base of the image and on the contrary, the broad details for contrast. The silhouette is broken and sharp. Broken contours and sharp edges are well combined. Strictly straight or slightly straight lines. Draperies or flowing lines can be used when they are elongated and used simultaneously as something very contrasting. Since the combination of opposites in the image is excellent, you can take a narrow silhouette as a basis and put on something white, bright, asymmetrical on top, creating a stylish appearance of broken lines. Let's call it Picasso-style eclecticism. The fabric should be light to medium in weight. The lighter the material is used, the more precise the silhouette that is sewn from, he from it. 
A very coarse and heavy fabric can be found on jackets, blazers and other individual elements, but they must be combined with the texture of the opposite quality. It is possible to mix mate and glossy fabrics together. Knits and stretch fabrics work well, but they should have a crisp silhouette. Use details in abundance, in geometric lines and vibrant colors. Flamboyant gammon reveals itself through vivid details. A sharp shoulder line is desirable. It is better to choose bright colors and combine them in bold contrast. Print bold and original, vibrant, medium to oversized, asymmetrical, irregular shapes with solid color contrasts. Jackets, blazers should be short and the shoulders are accentuated either by a rigid line or by very clear sculptural roundness. Sometimes a more extended blazer model is possible if it's worn over the very tight cloth with a short skirt or cropped trousers. The shape of the jacket is asymmetrical and irregular. Contrasting finishes and geometric details may be present here. Straight skirts, short and narrow, the hem is no longer than the middle of the knee and is often much shorter. Trousers, men's fit, dense fabric with deep pleats and cuffs, short, showing ankle length models. They can even be significantly shortened. Skinny models made from stretch fabrics are also suitable, don't throw your skinny jeans out. Blouses, slim sculpted blouses with simple cutouts and geometric trim. The fabric is medium in density, smooth, and it should be either made or gleaming. The presence of asymmetry in the cut will also be a good solution. Dresses, short midi dresses with a clear cut. Narrow shape with pointed shoulders or sharp semicircles, asymmetrical details and contrasting trim. The waist is lowered, bright contrasting belts can be used. Bags, angular and asymmetrical, triangle squares, elongated rectangles, good tie leather and flat shape, bright colors, bold, bold patterns, unusual materials. Decorations and jewelry, asymmetric angular shapes, metal decorations, colored glass, plastic are suitable. Lots of shine, bright colors, polished metal. You can afford to experiment with anything that you please. Hairstyles, asymmetric graphic haircuts, pixie and boy like haircuts are for you. Hair color should be clean and express makeup. Kibi recommends using a sultry eyeshadow, accentuated cheeks and a deep lipstick color. And thank you so much for staying here with me and I hope this information was useful for you. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, put a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, see you in the next episode.